Right, hi everyone. I'm going to attempt to change the uh, circuit board on the Yaesu 857 head unit. So that's what the problem is. There's vertical lines missing and this is a common problem. Also affects some 857 and 897 radios as well. Um, so uh, wish me luck. I'm going to uh, pause the video here and go over to... Uh, taking the head unit apart and getting ready. Two screws, one there and one there. I've already undone them. Right, so I've got the actual back off. You saw me do that. There's three screws you need to take out to take the circuit board out, which I've already done. One, two, and three there. And to get the circuit board out, I simply had to pull off this connector here and shove it down this hole. So that's been taken out, it's round the back. I now, which I wasn't anticipating, I now need to solder, well desolder these four pins here and resolder them in the new board. So I'm not looking forward to that bit. Got my replacement board here. And there's four pins here, I need to solder them in there, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I'm no good at soldering. Right, I'll desolder them and solder the new ones on, and we'll pick up the video from there. Right, that was a lot more hassle than I thought. You know, someone with not many soldering skills. Um, but I soldered it in the best I could. Soldered these four pins here in. So just, just to go over what the process is, you take the back off and pull out the ribbon cable, which will go back into here. You remove the screws from the board gently prising off this connector which goes here and you push it through that hole and you can then remove the whole of the circuit board but it's still attached to these this connector here this connector is soldered to the underside of the circuit board so you need to desolder that and resolder it and I'm someone with no soldering skills whatsoever. And it was a bit of a struggle, but I think I've done it. And then you just put the board back in, carefully locating it. You push this connector out through the, through the hole and reseat it into the socket. Put all the screws back in. And I'm now going to put the back part on and put the the ribbon cable into this thing, into this socket. I don't even know how that works. I'm just going to push it in and hopefully it will uh, take it. Right, I'll see you on the other side. I'm 
I've put it all back together exactly how it was um, when I took it apart and I'm just about to test it. This is the first time I'm powering it up. Yeah, so I'm really delighted with that. You know, for someone with no zero soldering skills, I'm quite pleased with that. Just checking the buttons work okay. Yeah, works fine. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, which I don't think I mentioned in the earlier videos, before you do all this, um, you know, take the volume, the selector knob off and the volume squelch knob. That'll help a lot. Right, hope someone enjoyed that. I didn't, but uh, it's now working, so I'm going to go and have a play with it. 73.